So we have the Knight of Swords. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> somebody's about to somebody's about to rush in here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, frozen. Oh, somebody's rushing in because they can't let you go. Um, they feel like they can't release you. Ooh, somebody's kind of smitten with you, whether they want to believe it or, or want to admit it or not. But I feel like this is a stubborn person. This is a um person that still may be resisting some type of changes. Maybe you and this boho, so you and this person both can't let each other go. You guys are both smitten by each other. Of course, you guys are twins. All right, we have death. Maybe you guys are both going through big transitions in your life, or you guys are both going through like big transformations or endings right now. You guys are both closing out cycles. Ooh, yeah. And kind of maybe you guys are about to both go into the dark night of the soul, or you guys are about to really like start doing a lot of introspection and inner work and shadow work, like dark night of the soul energy. Like, I feel like that's what's about to happen here. But why do we have the knight of swords? The knight of cups. Oh, somebody is coming in with a romantic proposal. There may be like a pause between you and this person for a while now. And that may be something that Spirit says you guys both need right now. But I feel like after a period of maybe separation or stagnancy, I do see this person coming in, rushing in or coming in with some type of proposal. Tell me about Frozen. Ooh, Ten of Swords. What is that about? Maybe you guys are still hung up on the ending that occurred between the two of you. We're going to get more clarity on that in a second. Tell me about mirroring. See, okay, so the Eight of Pentacles literally fell on the floor when I was shuffling, and here it is. So maybe I guess it was a message. Yeah, you and this person are both working on each on yourselves. Or maybe you and this person both have a desire to work on this, have put effort into this. I feel like this is more like internal, though. I'm going to be honest. Tell me about the, the Empress. Divine feminine vibration of love. Uh oh. You guys could have initiated. Maybe you guys are having an. So the. Let's see. The the feminine. What's on the back of the deck? The four of cups. Somebody feels like the. Oh, is somebody realizing that they may have really. Things are maybe really over between the two of you. Or that's what they're feeling like with their divine femme. Somebody's feeling like. Yeah. Somebody feels like they. Wow. So this is somebody. Who doesn't feel like they can let you go they're coming in kind of quickly i feel like this is very current energy or it's going to be in the near future with some type of romantic proposal but i feel like maybe this person betrayed you they did something there was a painful ending between you and this person there was some type of betrayal or hurt here um i feel like there's definitely a need for you and this person to go within but somebody is like realizing that you're a missed opportunity or that they've missed an opportunity. They feel like they've missed an opportunity with you. I don't know. And now it's like, it says discontent, boredom, refusing offers, apathy. Some of you guys, so they're maybe going to rush in and you're going to be being, being very cold towards them. The thing is, is like, yeah, I feel like somebody is coming in. You guys could have more than one person coming in towards you, to be honest. Your twin and somebody else coming in towards you. But I feel like you're cold towards both of these people. Like, or you're just going to be very like, eh. Because these people betrayed you, or at least one of these people did. Did something to hurt you. I feel like you and this, whoever, you and your twin need to go within, though. You guys need to continue to work on yourselves. But it's like somebody's realizing that you, you're either rejecting somebody, you're refusing these offers that are coming in, or somebody is just realizing for some reason that you're a missed opportunity, that you were the, you were the divine femme. Or, you know, divine masculine, okay? That you were a catch. It says wanting to conquer, fear, fear of losing you, awakening. Yeah, feeling, it's like they're awakening to the fact that they want, they're like wanting to surrender to this. Now somebody's wanting something more stable and solid and committed. Something came to light here. Ooh, somebody's seeing you look sexy and appealing. Someone's feeling very drawn to you. So signs here, we have Scorpio, we have Taurus. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, yeah, that's what we have so far. So we have Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. You guys are pulling back your energy. Mm. Yep. You guys are, somebody pulled back their energy here. Why is this person having this awakening? Why is this person having this awakening? Something changed. 
change in your love life. So we have um, Sagittarius and Pisces energy here. See, we have a 10. Something ended. Fate and destiny. What about the Wheel of Fortune? Something changed. Yeah, what happened? What changed? Nine of Wands. Somebody. Some type of. What about the Nine of Wands? Wishing. Replaying events. Suffering in silence. What's this have to do with my collective? What's this have to do with my twins? The div divinely guided to do what? Your star. Judgment. Queen of, I'm telling you, what about the Queen of Wands? The Knight of Pentacles. They're, they feel very drawn to you. Someone's feeling, viewing you as very attractive right now. Or maybe they always have, but they're just feeling very drawn to you. Why is, clarify the Nine of Wands though. Why the Wheel of Fortune, what changed in regards to the Nine of Wands? Okay, so an awakening. This already came out. Somebody is, but what's triggering this awakening though? They were very defensive. Why, what's triggering this awakening? Strength, the King of Cups, the Chariot. Why? Why are they overcoming this now? The Emperor. Yeah, it's like someone's wanting to step. Why, though? They're not telling me the why. Why is this happening? The Two of Wands. They had a choice to make, y'all. Yeah, I told you healing is necessary. Accepting to grow, self-care, healthy choices. Yeah, somebody was undecided about you. There were some things that this person needed to remove from their life and clean up in regards to their life um, that they were maybe not wanting. There were some things that they were not wanting to change, but they're still not telling me why this person's all of a sudden. What's, that, what's triggering this awakening in them? What's making them see my collective in a different light? The hermit. I feel like it's because you guys withdrew your energy. Or that you and this person are already, they're in solitude right now. They're doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspection. Maybe you guys are both doing this at this time. Virgo energy with the hermit. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you stopped giving to this. What about the Six of Pentacles? It's time. It's like somebody's thinking about it. And it's like, you know what? Actually, I do want something balanced with my twin. Maybe I do actually want something balanced with the collective. Why, though? <laughs> Hi, this, this is somebody that's been hiding their feelings for you. Maybe they're starting to feel insecure. Why? Devil. Ooh. Capricorn energy. What about the devil? Forbidden. You make them feel insecure because they're <laughs> they're toxic and they feel like you're a lot different. You're not toxic. They're they're not used to this. Why are they feeling this way about the collective? The King of Wands. They feel very drawn to you. Yeah. What's this mean for my collective though? They're, yeah, it's like they want you. This person wants you. They're trying to hide it. They're, this person's obsessed with you. But they feel, why do they feel like it's forbidden, though? Why do they feel like it's forbidden? Yeah, that Nine of Wands is coming out again. Maybe they know that they need to, they need to get their shit together. Oh. They're, they need to find balance in their life. They need to heal so that they can let their guard down with you. So that you guys can have something balanced. Like, the Hermit can be like a period of like healing and working on yourself. So it's like this, just know that there's somebody that's maybe not taking action towards you right now, but there's somebody that is healing. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to conquer their demons. They're trying to close out some cycles here with the intent that they want to come towards you after they heal and they, they're ready. They're in the energy to be able to open their heart to you. They want to reconcile, but they know that right now you're going to be guarded towards them if they come towards you in this unhealed energy. So they feel like it's forbidden right now. Yeah, it's like they're trying to tame their emotions. They're trying to tame their desire for you because, ooh, why do we have karmic partner here? They're definitely trying to tame their desire for you, though. They know they have a lot of shit that they need to figure out. Like, they have a lot of stuff that they need to still get sorted out and figure out and work on within themselves. And it's like they want to come towards you. It's like they want to rush towards you. They don't feel they can let you go. They're not going to probably be able to let you go. They want to be able to come in like and give you a romantic proposal, an emotion, uh, but they're just not there yet. It's like they desire you. Like this person's in like a more of like a, a they want to come towards you as the king of cups, but they're more of like in a king of wands energy. For like I said, for some of you, maybe have more than one person coming towards you, but I feel like it's more so this person is like, they feel very passionate about you, but it's like this person's still not in a place like healed enough 
to want to open their heart to you, like be vulnerable with you. And it's like they have a lot of other things that they need to get sorted out, which could definitely be a freaking karmic partner. Yeah, it's like they know that they need to be vulnerable. It says ripped apart, vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth. So they, they know that they, they maybe had the choice between somebody, a karmic partner that 11, 11 on them, as I'm saying this. They maybe have the choice between a karmic partner that they have a codependent relationship with that they indulged in their dark side with um, versus you who've ripped their, ripped their heart up. Like you've ripped them open, right? You, you, they feel like they know that they love you. Like you're the love that they have for you or that, that you guys share has shown them exposed the truth about a lot of things, possibly about this karmic partner, the truth about what was really going on between them and this other person, that this wasn't somebody that they were supposed to be with. It was karmic. You know, it's, it's showing them the truth about people that they have associated with or are currently associating with. It's like they're seeing the difference, right? You're a lot different from what they're used to. But I feel like they've been like juggling or trying to weigh their options, like not sure if they want to go the route of you or continue with this bullshit. But they're definitely curious about you because they feel like you've go, you've walked away and you've gone cold on them, right? So yeah, they may even feel like you rejected them, but they're just very, I told you, they're very stubborn and they're resistant. But I do feel like that cycle is coming to an end because you guys set boundaries. Like I feel like this person was wanting to try to juggle you in something else but until they made a decision. And now you're like, no, I deserve better than that. So I feel like, yeah, you, you walk, you're walking away from this and you're focusing on your own happiness and growth. And this, this person, it did bruise their ego. I'm not going to lie. It bruised their ego, but they were also resisting the connection. So they can't, you know, be mad really, but you know, whatever. Um, it's like your, your divine masculine or the divine, the divine masculine is like loading. They're, they're, they're in the midst of a transformation here, but it's like that cycle of this, them being egotistical is coming to an end because of you. All right. Um, but I definitely feel like. Anything else that they need to know? Yeah, they want to come. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It's maybe going to take some time. Yeah, taking things slow, patient, stable love, but it will be stable. Yeah, this person is like going through a period of like growth. Could be an earth sign for some of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but like they, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It looks like when you do hear from this person, it will be good news. It will be something positive. You don't have to. Guys, there it is. What I say? Dark night of the soul, emptiness, disconnection. So you and this person are about, both maybe about to enter the dark night of the soul or because we have mirroring or it's just like you and this person are really about to go through a period of growing. I Siri just told me until the end of the year. I don't know. I don't know. But um, five of cups, grieving, breakup. Someone's sad over you. Someone said that they don't have anything to offer you right now. Like they don't want to be apart from you, but they feel like right now they can't have what they want with you. They can't offer you anything or they, there's nothing that they can give you that you will accept. They have very little to give right now. Yeah, five of pentacles, exactly. And this makes this person feel very like left out in the cold or rejected by you, lonely. Tell me more. But yeah, exactly. Lessons. Separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. So they will be back though. Internal conflict, yeah. Some of you guys are conflicted. There, there's the King of Cups on the back of the deck. I feel like this person has been very conflicted about their feelings. So I feel like they've been holding back from you. Yeah, they just have been unawakened when it comes to this connection, like not understanding what's going on between the two of you. They feel very drawn to you. They feel this intensity, but they don't understand it. And I feel like it's unlike anything they've ever really experienced before. So it's very confusing to them. And I feel like they've been trying to figure it out. But yeah, we... It's like I told you, like, like this, like you're the light and whatever that they had going on with this karmic partner is the darkness or these people that they were entertaining. It says that they've been conflicted about remain in the darkness or embrace the light. So what's the internal? Give me one more card on internal conflict. Eight of swords. Yeah. Someone's feeling like, hmm, wish waiting. Some right now, this person feels stuck. They feel like right now they're waiting or they're. So they 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 feel like right now they, they they can't do anything about the situation that they're in. They feel stuck. They're waiting for the right time or better circumstances. Like they feel trapped, helpless. But I feel like this person is waiting for you to reach out to them or come back to them. Yeah, the hair fonts. What about the hair font and the weight? Oh, the tower. The Queen of Cups. Date. What? You know what this person's waiting for? What's the tower? The Scorpio energy, Taurus energy here. A, a, a big leap. Or maybe you guys know this person. Maybe you guys know this person's going to come towards you. Somebody's waiting for somebody to commit to them. 
or if somebody's waiting until they can take a leap of faith on this and commit to you. The Fool in the Tower, Three of Pentacles, The Moon. Yeah, they had something going on. Woo, did they have something going on, y'all? Yeah, no. They had something going on. Three of Pentacles, The Moon, The Knight of Wands. They were like, they had some type of third party that they were being with, sleeping with, taking risks with. I don't know. That I feel like they were trying to hide the moon. This was secret. What's this mean for my collective? The Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's like they're moving away from one person because they're they're feeling drawn to you to this Queen of Wands, which I feel like is you. Yeah, they want to move something ahead with you. So they're walking away from what tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Yeah, this was a secret. Or they couldn't see the truth about this person. What about the High Priestess and the Pen Queen of Pentacles? Ooh, they're ghosting this person. What about Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess, ghosting, healing? They're trying to still maybe heal from somebody. And as they heal from that person, you know, they'll they'll become more balanced. They could have been ghosted by this person. For some of them, I'm getting like, just say somebody ghosted them. Either they ghosted somebody or somebody ghosted them. And then that person like out of nowhere came back or something like that. And they had like unresolved shit with that person. That could be a story for some of you. Like that person just after being ghosted, they somebody came back or went back to that person for whatever reason. Mm, where is the deck I want to use? I'm going to use these in the extended. Let's get a few of these. Guys, I cannot make it up. You don't know how badly this person wants you right now. Insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. That's like the whole theme of this. Like how they feel so drawn to you that they feel like right now they cannot come towards you. Yep, separation. It's almost like the more you guys are apart and the more you pull back your energy, the more this person is want, going to want to. They're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. Well, what did I already say, guys? I literally just said that. Woo, look at this. Lustful desires. I feel like you are dealing with a person. First of all, they're lusting over you. And this person has an issue about being a player or being lustful. Maybe sleeping with multiple people or something. That Maybe that's what they were like before, but... I'm telling you, they're realizing that this other person that they were dealing with, they didn't love that person. They're realizing that it was lust. They have a hard time discerning between the two. It says there is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your des desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Mm, that's not you guys. I mean, it could be for you guys, but it's for your person. Woo, what did I just say? The player. The player life. Wow, guys. It's almost like. I don't know what happened between you and this person, but you guys disconnected, right? That didn't really come through in the reading. That's not what they're wanting to bring to your attention here. They're wanting to tell you what's going on now. You guys know how it ended between you and this person. I don't need to tell you. It's going to be different for all of you. But they're saying that since you've been apart from this person, they are desiring you heavily. It is extremely difficult for them to stay away from you. They are feeling so drawn to you, but there is separation is necessary. You and this person are going to go on this journey of focusing on yourselves for a while. This person feels like right now, they they, can, they even though they want to come towards you, they can't because they have nothing to give to you. But this person has had an, a history of being a player and being lustful. And they haven't, they're not in their heart space or they haven't been in their heart space. And it's like, the people that they connected with up until you was based off sexual things, right? Sexual needs or, you know, them desiring somebody sexually, not because they actually love this person. With you, it's something completely different that they feel, right? So it says they're, they're, they're learning to learn the difference between the two. They may even have gone back to somebody that they thought they used to think they were in love with that person, but now they're realizing now going back to them and after experiencing you, 
They're like, you know what? I didn't even love that person at all. I just, it was just sexual. I didn't even love that person. But look, this card says the player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Mm. It's like with death and the empress, it looks like this is the masculine that was the player. Whoever, take it how it resonates. Feminine, masculine, whatever. This the the it's like the the feminine it's like you guys trigger a transformation in this person it's like you ended things with this person possibly look at this discovery they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality they yeah they had a um they had a a tower and i feel like i don't know i feel like the tower had something to do with this other person but it says they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. I told you, they feel stuck right now. Why are they feeling trapped and powerless? That already came out. Why? Coldness. Ah, I'm telling you. I already said this. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince them, convince you they're worth keeping. They want to keep you on hold until they have something to give to you. But no, that's not fair to you. And like, I honestly feel like this person feels no motivation to even get their shit together when you're entertaining them in that way. Like, I feel like that's probably why I think you, you and this person are in separation right now. Because what were they giving you when you were trying to be patient with them and give them the benefit of the doubt? You know what I mean? So no. There needs to be a separation from what I can see for this storyline here. But yeah, they're feeling you pull your energy back. I already said that. They feel you pulling your energy back. They're maybe even seeing something like they're seeing you maybe with somebody else. They're seeing you get out there again. I don't know. There's something that's making them feel like you're moving away from them. But you, yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Yep, dark side again. So this person has a lot of demons. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. Mm. So it's parts of this person, parts of this person's life or about them that they don't want to show you. They maybe need to get something sorted out in regards to children as well. For some of you, they may feel trapped with a person because of a kid. They maybe feel trapped. They feel stuck in a situation because there's children involved, but they also feel you pulling away from them, but they feel like there's nothing that they can do about it. Uh, children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. Mm. On a pedestal, you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yeah. You and this person both have issues with being vulnerable. Choices. Yeah, it's something to do like it's like either it's like either a choice between you and somebody that they have kids with. It says there is a choice they have to make. They know that time is not on their side. Yeah, and risk losing you forever if they don't. Yeah, sexual union. Their greatest sex memory is with you. But it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Marriage. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Something to do with like, yeah, ending. Something came to an end. So they could have closed out some type of cycle with somebody that they had children with. Because we have death and the empress. So it could have been like their baby mom, their baby mama, the, the father of their children and the mother of their children. They closed out a cycle with that person. They maybe felt stuck and found it. They are afraid to trust and get hurt again. Yeah, they, they, they had some type of like destructive marriage or something like that. They're afraid to trust and get hurt again. The illusion is keeping them locked. In. Okay, so they they feel helpless, but that's not the case. <laughs> so this is like more of like a self-imposed prison. I don't even think they're stuck in a... Maybe they did have a situation going on with children and like an ex-wife or an ex-husband, but that's over now. They were maybe going through a custody battle or a divorce. That has come to an end. Now it's just their own fears holding them back. It's like you did come into their life to test them and teach them and to help bring out the very best in them. But then you may, there is going to be an ending or there is going to be an ending between you and this person or it already has been an ending, but there's also going to be a resurrection. There's going to be a rebirth. What you thought to be, and like when that, that ending happens, it's like one cycle is closing out and then a new one will begin and it will be different. It won't be the same way. It says what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. 
Yeah, we have uprooting. They're leaving all that is familiar, familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Unsighted. They are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all that they know. Yeah, this person has like some inner child wounds as well. Yeah, it's like who they are is like based, is, it has, how do I say that? Who they are is because who they've become because of their childhood wounds and the way they were raised. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah, it's like they're healing their inner child. Mm -hmm. they've, they've had a hard time seeing like how they, they mishandled you because, you know, they did hurt you. They did something. They betrayed you in some way, especially, I mean, if they had another person. Yeah, and exactly. That's confirmation. Ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that are passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. So that's confirmation right there. But it says overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Wow. Told you. They feel, well, double confirmation. Family tree. There are cultural differences, different, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Yeah. But new perspective right after that. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. Wow. And you guys are setting boundaries with this person. You start losing faith in them. Yeah. This person knows that this like deep down, this person knows that you are very genuine and they know that they, that they are, they feel like that like you and them compared, like they're, they feel like they're dark and you're light. And it's like your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. They look at themselves in a very negative light because it says they have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. So. Yeah, and I feel like you guys started like, yeah, they're in regret. Yeah, they 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 regret leaving you out in the cold. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it says they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So I feel like for a lot of you, you did end up walking away from them. You start setting boundaries. You you knew your worth. You walked away, but they feel stuck. They're they're, they're letting fears hold them back. Them not their own self worth issues. Them feeling like, oh, we're just so different. I, they think that they need, they don't feel like they have anything to give to you right now. It's a lot of things. So we're going to take.